already I just realized there's something that I didn't do. While I'm figuring out what I didn't do, you guys can look at those fantastic flowers because these Pierced Blooms dies are on sale for 50% off through uh, the end of the catalog period or until they sell out. So there we go. I'm going to get my uh, thing here. Oh, I just saw Tana. Hello, Tana. I know a peeper needs a friend, but he's not getting one. That's not happening. So uh, we are going to make the flower pot card. Some of you may already know what this is. It's a very cute card. So you start out with a three and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock. In my case, this is crumb cake. And I am going to slide it into my trimmer and I'm going to score it at one and a half inches. Okay, so we've got that. And then we're going to fold that back, lining it up on the edges, on the sides there. And then I'm going to flip it over, and then I'm going to bring this other side up to meet my fold line. Okay. Oh, there goes Peeper. He's peeping his full little head off. So this is what I have. So I have the little one and a half inch flap in the front, and then we have this in the back. So this is what we have. Okay. So now what you're going to do is bring in the trimmer again. You're going to put the fold line, the big fold line at the top of the trimmer, and you're going to find like the three eighths of an inch mark, which is right here. So you've got your track, you've got one eighth, the large line is two eighths, this is three eighths. So I'm going to put my fold line right at that three eighths inch mark. And then I'm going to put this score line in the track, okay? And then I'm just going to cut that off, this little piece off, okay? So I'm going to flip that over, and I'm going to do that again. I'm going to put my fold line again at the 3 8 inch mark. I'm going to then have this line in the track, and I'm going to cut that off. So now we have the flower pot shape. Oops, and there goes my scoring blade. And I do have a tiny little thing here I'm going to snip off. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we have our little flower pot shape. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my Stampin' Cut and Emboss uh, folders. These are the checks and dots. So that's exactly what they do. Their patterns are checks and dots. So very cute. So I would use the checkered pattern. He probably does think I'm talking to him, Nancy. Um, and so this is now the front of the, the card underneath the flap here. So I would take my folder and I would align it up. And you can actually put it through your stamp and cut and emboss machine side to side because you can't, normally you're supposed to put them through hinge first, but if you try to do that, then your other papers are gonna get messed up, okay? So if you can try to do it like this, I don't like doing that because then these other pieces that I don't want embossed are going to get kind of messed up. So I was able to run it through like this. I feel like I'm fine um, doing that because the air can still escape. So I did run it through. And then what I end up with is, where's my paper package? This. So I have that kind of uh, checks pattern on the front. Can you guys see that? I feel like if I trolled it a certain in a certain light, um, it'll show up. So there isn't any on this flap and then there isn't any on the back. Okay. So that's what we've got so far. So then, um, now these die cuts that were in this tray, I didn't cut any of these today. I literally have a ton of die cuts because I've done so many projects with these things and I just cut tons and tons of flowers. So I literally just dumped them into this tray, figured out what I wanted to do with this card and these are the pieces that I decided to keep. So these I'm just going to stick back in my set of dies. And then they will be available for uh, the next time I decide I might want to do something. Or, you know, um, the next person that gets my die set. Okay. So let me put some of this stuff away. The only thing I did cut was the bow. Because the die set comes with a bow and I needed a bow. That's the only thing I cut was the bow. I also have an eighth of an inch strip of pool party cardstock. So this is like an eighth of an inch by eight and a half. Which it's too long, but it's fine. And then I have a little piece of white. Forgot what this is. This is two and three eighths by five and one eighth. Okay. And that's going to go down into our little pot holder here. 
and then we're going to decorate this and this is going to be our little uh thing that is going to pull out and you can write a little message on there okay so what i want to do first is i want to have my piece in there and then i want to uh, this is going to be kind of like a piece of ribbon holding the thing closed so i'm going to set it on there where i kind of want it to meet up and then i'm going to fold it to the back and then i'm going to fold it to the front and then I'm going to have these line up together. Okay. So you can use a glue dot. You can use whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to use some liquid glue. Oops. I'm going to use a little dot of liquid glue here. Maybe. If I can get the glue out. Oh, you know what? I should be using my little tiny glue holder. Maybe I'll get that out. Well, I don't know if I have any other little tiny things to work on. Okay. So. I'm going to center it from top to bottom on this uh, flap. Okay, so we've got that. And then this piece is going to come around. Hello, everyone that's joining us. Thank you for joining us. And then I'm going to put a little glue right here. Like so, maybe a little bit more. Just to kind of make sure that. And then I'm going to snip this off right at the spot where it meets and then I'm going to press that into place. So now I have closed up the card with a little piece of cardstock. You could also use ribbon but I just wanted to do this today so and either way is fine. All right so now I'm going to assemble my flowers how I want them assembled so I'm going to get all my leaves out of the way and again like I said I had all these pieces um, in my bag of goods. Oh, Polly, you're funny. I used to actually have uh, the word fabulous on my license plate when I was a younger person. Um, so there you go. Okay, so these are the large flowers that I'm going to use. So I've got, uh, this one is in real red. This one is in uh, Coastal Cabana. This one is in Flirty Flamingo. And then these two are in Pale Papaya. And so I am going to, hmm, I'm going to do some things with glue and then some things with some mini dimensionals, okay? So let me just add a little glue to the centers of these. Um, this little guy I'm going to stick in the center of the real red. This is a little tiny Coastal Cabana flower. Then our Coastal Cabana big flower, I'm going to use this little fun piece here. Uh, like this. Thank you girls for letting everybody know what's going on because I'm I'm not looking as much as I should. So I'm glad you guys are here taking care of the comments for me. I appreciate that. I'm going to put a mini dimensional on that and then I'm going to add this little, where is it at? It's pink. Here it is. This flirty flamingo uh, little card center. You can see that was a scrap that I had uh, done something on, stamped on or whatever. Okay. So that's done. Now we have this one here. So I'm going to bring in this same little piece and I'm going to stick that in the middle. And then I'm going to add another mini dimensional here to the middle of this. And I'm going to add this little, this is a, I think this is Coastal Cabana. Yeah, that little Coastal Cabana middle. So we've got three flowers done so far. Oh, these have glue on them, Barb. Hello. Okay. Then on this little pale papaya flower, I'm going to bring in this little starfish looking one. Get that down. And then we will go ahead and use a, another mini dimensional here. And we're going to use a red middle. Can you guys hear that peeper? Oh my gosh, she's so loud. <laughs> oh, I feel really bad for him. I do. I wish my husband would come home. Maybe he would come down and take peeper upstairs then I wouldn't have to have so much guilt about him being down here all by his little lonesome okay so we have built five flowers together so now I'm going to add them to the card and I'm just going to kind of eyeball these things where I want them to go at first so I'm going to have these two larger ones actually stick onto the pot itself okay so I'm going to add a little bit of glue to that and then stick that down. And I just realized something funny, but it's fine. And then this one I'm going to put above it. So I'm only going to add a little bit of glue to these two petals here. 
and then that is going to go like right here. Okay, so those two are stuck on the pot. Then this one is going to be stuck on the white inside layer or the piece that comes out. Now I should mention, I need to get a, another piece of card stuck here. This is just an eight and a half by five and a half card base. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that I don't stick anything above. See, and this one's above, so that's not going to work. It's got to turn a little bit because you don't want it to go outside the envelope. Okay, so there we go. Uh, Diane says she can't hear. So my only suggestion is she might need to turn up her volume or sometimes on YouTube videos, there's that little... Oh, can somebody put this in the comments? There's that little microphone on the screen that sometimes has the X on it um, that might help her. Otherwise, I have no idea. I'm assuming everyone else can hear me. All right, so then this little guy is also going to go on this layer here, kind of underneath this. Do I want it to go underneath? There we go. Okay, so Cheryl says she can hear me. So I'm assuming that it's just something on Diana's end that is not working properly on her computer. Okay, so we have just a bunch of flowers there. Now I want to tuck so this. Now if I make sure that this doesn't go any farther than this card base, then I know that um, it'll fit in an envelope. Okay, so now I'm going to add my little bow. Oh, she can't hear the peeper. Okay, well, that's your, I'm glad you can't hear the peeper. It's really annoying. Okay, good. Sorry. Boy, tell you what, I don't know what I'm doing, right? Yeah, the peeper is, he can be a little bit loud. Uh, so yeah, be happy that you can't hear him because he's kind of annoying. Well, I mean, I guess if you only had to hear him a little bit, it would be fine, but I've been listening to him all day long. He's driving me crazy. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this. I kind of thought that I might want to put these tiny little flowers um, on the bow, but now I'm not so sure. Okay. So, but before we get done here, I need to add some leaves. Now, I'm going to cut this off because it's a little bit long for what I need. And I'm going to tuck this underneath my Coastal Cabana flower here. There we go. And then Cheryl says no flowers, so we'll get rid of those and we'll see what happens. Uh, then I've got this green. These are all Granny Apple Green, and they were already cut. Um, I had already um, had them. Uh, what else do we got here? How about this one? I think I might tuck that underneath. I'm going to put the glue on the top of this just so that I can, since this pink one is, um, oh, how funny is that? That's not what I wanted to do with it. You silly thing. Get back in there. I want it to be on the back of this. There. Okay. Then we just have all kinds of little leaves here. Oh yeah, we're probably going to do rhinestone, Cheryl. You betcha. Put that. Uh, we've got this little guy here, which I think that little stem piece is going to be a bit much. We don't need that. Put a little glue on the back of that. I think I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to tuck this leaf under here like that. Okay. Oh, where else? We might need a leaf. Well, I need to bring this back in because I want to make sure that this leaf, I'm going to tuck a leaf under here, but I want to make sure that it's not going to stick out too far and I think it's fine but I'm going to trim it off just a bit. Thank you Hope! She said my card is looking awesome. This isn't the one that I was having a problem with. <laughs> this was one that I had planned on doing and it's it's worked out pretty good. I, I'm not complaining about this one at all. Okay so now I have a sentiment. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even know if my sentiment's going to fit on here. Oh, it will. Okay, yay. So my sentiment comes from a stamp set called The Best Year, and it's the happy birthday. I love... Oh my gosh, Vicki, please copy it. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to use the happy birthday to you, and I love when the, the sentiments have different fonts within the words. I really, really like those. Um, and so I'm going to use the happy birthday to you because I either need birthday cards or I need... Um, I need Bermuda Bay. Or maybe Coastal Cabana. Well, we could try Coastal Cabana. We'll see what happens. Um, birthday cards. So I'm going to ink this up. And yes, these are perfect for Mother's Day. All right. I need to stamp this on a scrap first because I'm not sure if I mounted this good or not. All right. So I just need to line up. 
Um, it's pretty good. Okay. Let's do it right here. They're cute. Okay, then we are going to get some rhinestones. So I'm going to slide that back in and it's going to go underneath. So we have just a nice little bouquet of flowers there. Um, I wonder maybe if I should put a flower down here on the basket. Does anybody have any opinions on that? I'll leave it there for a second and see what you guys think. Okay, so let me close up some of these inks and let me get my rhinestones. Here are our rhinestones. And I have a lot of little single rhinestones around here. Okay, let's see. Somebody said the flower does look good on the basket. Okay, um, I'm going to take a very large rhinestone and add it to the middle of the bow. Okay, there we go with that. And then I kind of feel like some of these, like that one definitely uh, needs a rhinestone in it. Since it only has like one color, but I kind of feel like this one also needs a rhinestone in it. You know what? We're just going to go rhinestone all over the place. We're going to put a rhinestone on every one of these because you know what? It's a girl card and we are going to girl it up for sure. Okay, you guys said yes on the flowers. So I think I'm going to go, oh, do I want the pink? I really like the pink, but I think the pale papaya would look fine with a rhinestone in it. We'll go with that. We'll try that. Or maybe we should put all three of them on there. I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, we'll do that one for sure. And of course, we got to have a rhinestone in the middle of it. I don't know what I had to do with my other little flower. I had, um, oh, here it is. Oh, Jean said she just got these dyes yesterday. Jean, they're fabulous. You're going to love them. Oh, whoops. Go over there. Like three of them, you guys? Does three work on the bottom? I'm going to get a drink of water while we discuss this. Yeah, these dyes are incredible. And they're half off, which makes them even more incredible. And even though the stamp set that goes with it is gone, the dyes are okay by themselves. So a lot of you are saying yes for three. Well, Kathleen says just one. Beverly says one. Three are okay. One, just one. Hmm. A lot of you are saying just one. I kind of feel like just one also, but it just needed a tiny little something there. But anyways... That's the card. It will fit in a regular envelope as we discovered. So remember when you do make this card, make sure you put it on a five and a half piece of cardstock so that you don't go above the five and a half area. Otherwise it won't fit into one of our regular envelopes. Okay. All right. I guess I should have done an envelope, but I didn't. And we're done with this card now. 